so here is the fifth question it says differentiate between distance and displacement this is the most typical question in motion especially in grade 9 and uh, you know already so the best way to answer this question you all know is to create a table and then differentiate so let's say in your notebook you can create a table like this and here you can write distance so we are going to write the point related to distance here and here displacement displacement okay so let's begin so what is the first quantity first you uh, first point should be related to definition so you write distance is it is it is the path length path length or it's better to add a word it is the actual path length between between starting and starting and end point points okay this is the first point what about displacement displacement is nothing but uh, the shortest shortest distance distance between between the starting starting and the end point isn't it so basically we are talking about the definitions first so in the first point we just gave the definition of distance and displacement second is it's a scalar quantity all of us know it's a scalar quantity correct there is no mention of any uh, direction right here you will say it is a vector quantity so this is another point of difference it is a and a major major point of difference it is a vector quantity correct correct what else what else is there so if you see distance is distance is distance is zero either zero that means it can have zero value that means there is no distance or no difference between start and point distance is either zero or positive it will always be either zero or positive if it is not zero then it has to have a positive value but in case of velocity uh, displacement it can have it can have negative values as well apart from being zero and positive values it can have negative values as well right when is that case let's say if this is the origin and this is your coordinate system or frame of reference and this is origin and let's say this is positive so hence if a particle moves in this direction then we say that the displacement is negative isn't it now you can also give examples by drawing that's also a good practice so distance you can draw a path like this this is starting point a and b okay and if you do this you write this as displacement this as displacement no doubt and this is distance okay this is what uh, the drawing can also be helpful here okay fourth point of difference will be distance is distance is always greater than greater than or equal to or equal to displacement this placement so in any case let's say here in this case there is a dis distance is this the path length and ab is the displacement so hence any path length joining ab will be either equal to the displacement ab the minimum possible is this or it will be greater than displacement correct on the other hand displacement is displacement displacement displacement's magnitude you can see because it is a vector quantity so hence you can't say displacement is here also you can say equal to the magnitude of displacement so displacement's magnitude is always 
lesser than or equal to distance between two points the two points have to be the same distance between two points okay start and end point please keep in mind another point of difference could be that there could be so many distances between a and b you can have different different paths so let's say if you have a path like that then also so there could be infinitely many distances between two point but there could be only one displacement between a and b correct so if i take another color just for your understanding let's say i take uh, this and yes if i draw the if i join a to b so there is only one displacement possible if two points are fixed you can reach uh, the destination from the starting point through multiple distances for example let's say you want to go to your school from your home so you can go to your um, friend's place and then from friend's place you can go to your school that's one way of doing it so let's say this is your uh, home and this is your school so you can go to your friend's place f1 let's say and then go to school that could be one way you can go to another friend's place f2 let's say and then from here you go to school or you directly go from your place to school in a straight line path so hence this will be displacement and all other routes become becomes the example of distance i hope now you are clear between the uh, difference between distance and displacement